I'm going to put three-fourths cup milk in my small little pot here. I'm going to warm this up. My milk is just getting some bubbling around the edges, so I'm going to turn the heat off. I'm also going to remove it from the heat and just let this cool down. I have some half a cup of water in this uh, tumbler, it's, and I'm going to add my yeast to it. I'm going to take the sugar that I'm going to use, just add a pinch of sugar to that. stir this up and let this yeast kind of activate. In my mixer I have the cornmeal and I'm going to add a cup of boiling hot water to it. Mix it around just a bit. I think I'll just go ahead and use uh, this and make sure that it's all moistened. Gets kind of wet and I'm going to let this stand for 10 minutes. So I let that cool down for 10, actually 15 minutes. I waited 15 minutes. Then I added sugar to this. I added a stick of butter that I melted. I added two egg yolks. I added the warmed milk to it and salt. And I added the yeast mixture. I was not filming. I apologize. I'm going to mix this up. Okay, I have that mixed up, sort of. I'm going to add two cups of flour. There's one. And two. Mix this around. Okay, I just mixed that up a couple minutes. It's still very loose. So I'm going to add two more cups of flour. And mix again. Okay, it's been mixing about two minutes. It's still really wet. And it rained outside today, so I'm going to add another half a cup. This usually takes anywhere from four to five cups, so that's now four and a half cups and let it mix for a couple minutes and see how it's doing. Okay it's mixed for about five minutes and I think it still needs a little more flour so I'm going to add like a fourth of a cup. I'm going to take the dough. I let the machine work it for like ten minutes. So I'm put the dough here. going to work it for about five minutes so it's real nice and smooth. It's been about five minutes. The dough is just lovely. It looks real nice and glossy. It's just lovely. So I'm going to take this bowl, spray it with cooking spray, Put this in there. Move that around a bit. Now I'm going to cover it with plastic wrap and let this rise in a warm place. Next, grease your baking uh, pan that you're going to bake the rolls on. And here it is. It's been a little over an hour and it's risen up. Take it and push it back down and divide it up into rows. Well, I changed my mind. I'm going to put, bake them in this. And so this is like half the dough that I cut in half. And then I cut that in half. And then I cut that in half again. And again. And then each one of these in half. So I'm getting 32 rolls out of this and putting them in here. And I'm going to cover these and let these cover them and, and let these raise. Well, these have risen for an hour and a half. They 
puffed up a little bit. I'm going to put these in my 425 degree oven. And also, I made bigger ones that I put on my sheet pan. So these are like 1 16th of the dough and these are 1 32nd of the dough in portions. So I'm going to put both of these in my 425 degree oven and bake them. Here these are out of the oven. They baked for 11 minutes at 425. I already took three of them out and kind of ate on them. And here this freeform size baked 15 minutes. Have one of my rolls here. Put a little butter on there, and I have some homemade chili with a, a little bit of cheese. Mm. It's way more light white and fluffy more than regular cornbread very tasty kind of airy mmm I love them thanks so much for watching